The nationwide rental car shortage doesn't seem to be getting any better. Thousands of families this summer finding it impossible to get a rental. New this morning, consumer reporter John Matteris has an update for us on how bad it's gotten so you don't waste your money. The rental car shortage shows no signs of letting up. Now drivers in Myrtle Beach have been renting U-Haul vans because they can't find rental cars. So we wanted to revisit a woman we talked to a few weeks ago about how the shortage almost ruined her vacation. Angie McIntosh and her family have arrived safely at their vacation condo on Florida's Panhandle. We are in this Miramar Beach area. But they almost didn't get here. I get a call from them to tell me, sorry, we are not going to have your van. They had booked a 12 passenger Ford Transit van. But while packing, an agent from Budget Rent-A-Car called to say there were no vans left. And this is less than 24 hours from when we were supposed to leave. The only option? He said, well, you know, yeah, of course we can get you two SUVs, but it's going to be $2,000. Rental car companies nationwide are running out of cars or doubling prices on the few they have left. Consumer Report says to protect yourself, book a rental well in advance. Consider Uber if you don't plan much driving and be very careful in Hawaii, Orlando and Las Vegas, where rentals may be sold out for weeks. Budget finally gave the Macintoshes these two SUVs for the same price, but it was still costly. Your gas prices are $3 a gallon right now. A budget rep told us they will investigate why the van they booked vanished the eve of their trip. At this point, rental agencies don't expect the shortage to improve until after Labor Day when kids go back to school and fewer people will be renting cars. So as don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.